time to apply some paint. I've got a primer coat on here that is uh, water base and I've sanded it all down. It raised the grain. That's what I wanted it to do. So now we're using a interior acrylic latex. Lifetime warranty from Sherwin-Williams. And I'm going to give it a coat of this and then they want a chalk finish. But I'm not sure chalk finish is a very durable finish so that's why I'm giving it this undercoat of uh, pure paint and then I'll change this paint into chalk paint but of course that's another video time to mix some milk paint I'm going to mix it in this old quart uh, container here I saved these um, I paint out of them and use them for things like this so this uh, chalk paint uh, recipe comes from inmyownstyle.com. It calls for eight tablespoons of calcium carbonate. And that's what we have here. Brandon has used it before. One, two, eight. Four tablespoons of water. I'm going to mix it with this little uh, thing I got at a Goodwill store, or thrift store anyway. A couple of minutes. That's uh, really nice and smooth in there. This is the uh, Sherwin Williams acrylic paint that Alyssa and Brandon supplied. I'll fill it to the top with that. Mix some more. So it's time to some, apply some paint. I'm a little concerned because this chalk paint is really thick. Um, and I don't want to wipe out the details on this bed, but I had trouble getting the normal latex paint down into this groove so I'm not sure how I'm going to get the chalk paint in there. I've got a couple different brushes here. One is very stiff. That doesn't seem to do it. I've got a, my glue brush here that I've normally used for glue. I think that's getting in there. And then I've got the dollar store brush. Uh, that's just not thick enough at all. A little bit bigger glue brush. Nope, that's not going to work. So I think my best bet is this small artist brush here. and maybe flood the joint. I think that'll work. So I'll flood this joint here with lots of paint and then pull it out. Moved on to the headboard here. Again, I like to paint this when it's horizontal like this. When it is vertical, each one of these little V grooves has a chance to run. So once again, just like I did with the rail, I'm flooding these V joints. And then I'll use my little paintbrush to um, 
wipe those out and then just like this there goes the vacuum so as I was saying before the vacuum interrupted upstairs let me go again that I'll flood these veins right here and again I had a hard time getting the latex paint in it let alone the chalk paint flood those really well take my smaller brush clean them out as I finish up the and then take some light strokes with the grain chalk paint here each direction on each side it's uh, interesting <clears throat> as I finish up this coat and try to get all the brush marks going the right direction um, I always reflect back finishing is my least favorite activity of a project painting and varnishing staining I'd much rather build it but you can't help but think back as you brush each piece what that piece of wood looked like in my case this case several months ago or a couple weeks ago now this is horizontal and I see some flaws in it and that's going to be there because I am not the greatest finisher it's uh it's nice to reflect back on all these pieces I have the paint on everything the front of the footboard but not the back so I'll flip that over this evening I think it'll be dry and give that a coat my next step then will be to put the hardware on and put the bed together then I'll go over with a fine tooth comb and look for any flaws I know there's a piece of uh, brush uh, there's a piece of bristle right here that I've been trying to get out and can't get it when it's wet so um, that'll be a place I'll need to sand out and there's just raised up got it so that's one less spot I'll have to fix but anything like that any drips any um, place where the paint is built up and will have to be sanded down I only used about half of that quart of paint so that's really good you don't want to run out of that kind of paint um, you want if I were to run low I'll mix up by the cup um, and then add to it before it runs out so you can kind of blend it in uh, with the milk paint here and me being not so precise it's it would be easy to see where I brushed over but that quart will seal up and I'll be able to give that to Brandon and Alyssa for any touch-ups they need to do once they get it home and uh, set up there it is flipped over finished kind of a weird feeling this uh, basement is not big enough to show you the headboard and the footboard at the same time the only thing I have left to do now is to um, take these slats out and uh, look over everything make sure it's all right. And then for the big reveal on Saturday or Sunday.